Now, sometimes when you're browsing through some website, you'll be able to see some sliders, uh, slideshows kind of formats that's showing on the websites, right? Not only you can actually add a slider to your homepage, you can also add a slider to um, your other pages and posts as well. But how do you do that? Hey guys, this is Zem from DMZ. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually add a slider, a slideshow to your WordPress websites. Now, some of you guys will be looking at uh, um, to actually add a slider um, to your website content itself, right? So be it is your uh, homepage slider or if you want to add a slider, for example, something like these uh, concepts, right? A slider in the middle of your content, you know, a full wave slider, uh, three slides, kind of like sliders, um, um, you know, with contents over right here, background image like this. Uh, this is something that I would like to share with you in these videos, right? But how do we actually do this? You know, all these features like sliders on WordPress and things like that, they are actually an add-on features on um, WordPress and you basically need to just uh, install a new plugin, okay? So you can just go ahead to, um, you know, to the uh, dashboard and go under the admin um plugins okay and the new plugins and this is what we're going to search okay we're going to search for slider the one that i would like to recommend you to you is smart slider tree okay so there's a lot of um other slider in the market itself if you can see if you are searching for slider itself you can see meta slider you know we have uh you know ultimate sliders over right here we have a lot of other type of sliders uh that you can just go ahead and explore um different slider it will just give you a little bit of different uh, features settings and some of them will actually give you a different templates okay the one that i would like to recommend to you um uh, is by next 10 okay and it's actually this this is the one okay so uh the one that i wanted to recommend to you is basically this smart slider 3 okay so you can just go ahead and click on install now and activate the plugin okay so uh very fast very quick uh this is the one that i would like to share with you um without any editing skills that you have without any you know very complicated uh, designing skills you can also have it okay so just go ahead and activate it and once you activate it you can see on the left hand side there's this section called smart slider it will actually shown so bright here you can just go ahead and click it and if you need some uh you know some guidance and things like that you can go ahead and watch it or else you can just go direct to go to dashboard and if you don't want it to show every single time that it actually pop up like this, right? You can just go ahead and click on don't show again. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and click on go to dashboard. And over right here, you can see that um there's one tutorial slider so that you can go ahead and um, edit and um you know to learn how to actually do use all the settings. Okay. But now I'm going to show with you under the project. You can just click into the project. Okay. So it will just ask you if you are going to start a new project or if you are going to use it with a template. Okay. You can just go ahead with the template. And inside here is right, if you can see there's tons and tons of millions, I mean not millions, but there's a lot and <laughs> lots of templates that you can use as a slider format. And I love it because it's like so convenient and so easy and um you know a lot of it is actually uh free um templates and some of it is actually paid template as well so you can see those that's having the free 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 uh that's basically free um the one that's without the tag and if you mouse over you will be able to see it's actually pro only so how much the pro price yeah that we are looking at over right here if you are buying this uh, single domain for one side is about $35 and if you are buying it for a business license you can actually use it for 10 sites okay 10 website itself um, is 150 and we have unlimited okay unlimited website is 250 one time payments only that's you only need to pay one time okay and you can have lifetime support and all the pro features that you can have okay so this is the one that we are looking at over right here and they have uh, more than 80 like slides library that you can use okay so um very very convenient and very easy as you can see over right here you know all the uh uh you know the slider it looks quite nice okay um very professional done up you can save a lot of time in in doing the editings actually okay but the one that i want to share with you even with a free 
you know, free uh, slider design, it already looks very good as well. Um, the one that I'm doing a demo is basically this is the one. So let's say we are going to use this as our sliders, right? The template. You can just go ahead and click on import. Okay, you just take some time loading. Yep, so right after here, you can actually see that there's actually three slides right here. Okay, slides one, slides two, slides three. You can also go ahead and click under uh, add a new slides here. Yeah? But I'm just going to share with you how to actually edit um, the existing slide from here. So let's say this is the slide number one, right? I'm going to click under the edit. Okay, so if you can see from here, um, very quick, um, this is the preview at the back, okay? So if you can see from here, it will actually give you these little things right here for you to do the editing, right? So I'm going to change the background image um, behind me, okay? So instead of that, I'm going to change it to, um, assisting, I have some pictures over right here. I'm going to change it to this one, okay? I'm going to um, click on select, and you can see that the background image is basically changed already. Okay, at the same time, if you can see from here, right, this is the 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 I mean the the text, right? So I can also at the same time just to do some editing right here, um, to make sure that you know the text. So let's say this is the text that I want. I can just double click on the text, and the things will be shown. So right here. So let's say this is like my uh, burger menu. Okay, burger menu. So you can see from here. <clears throat> Whenever that I click on the things, you know, these things is actually changing, okay, from here. So if I click under the backgrounds over right here, you can also see that, you know, um, you can actually add some links right here as well, okay. So also at the same time, you can actually change the background color. But I will highly recommend you to go with the template base, okay. That's where, you know, the template set it for you nicely already. Okay, second one that I'm going to do, once you've done it right, you can just go ahead and save changes. And you can just click on the back. And it's going to just go back to the, you know, the, the, the main uh, settings over right here, yeah? And then I'm going to click under the edit queue for the, my slides number two. So now I'm going to change, um, you know, the background image of my slider, okay? So if you can see from here, I'm going to click under the background of the image. And as long as you see this image over right here, right, you can just go ahead, go ahead and click on the app. And I'm going to replace that with my coffee image right here. And I'm just going to save changes, okay? So then same things over right here. Maybe I'm just going to pass on. I'm going to just do it as a coffee lover. It's not coffee over, okay? Coffee lover. And I'm just going to click under here. I can just, you know, like buy coffee. No, grab coffee now. Okay? So you can see from here, you know, um, if you want to change the color, okay, so this is how the background colors over right here, you can change it to red color, um, you know, for the button. And also at the same time, you know, earlier on, so over right here at the content, you can actually click under the link. So whenever people click under this uh, button, they will actually link it to your page itself, right? So once you're done, uh, make sure that you just go ahead and save changes. Okay, so you will just say that the slide is successfully saved and I'm just going to go back and then this is what is going to happen here. So once you hit on save, okay, once you hit on save on all the three changes over right here, right? And um, if you can see from here, that's actually this smart slider, the short code. Okay, so this is the one that you are going to actually add to your um, website. Okay, this is the one that you're going to add to your website. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste this and you're going to go to the page that you want to add in the um, slider. Okay, let's say this is the sample page that I wanted to do the demo. I'm just going to click under the edit page. Okay, so um, let's say I want to add it over right here somewhere, you know, after here, right? So if you're using a, this editor, the latest version of WordPress, um, you'll be pretty much looking at the same layout as mine, yeah? Um, if you're looking at a different, um, you know, editor that you are using, a classic editor, okay? Don't worry, I'll be sure sharing with you later, okay? So just bear with me a little bit more. Um, now, for those of you who is looking at over right here, right? What you need to do is just to click under the add a block, okay? So and you are going to select the short code, Okay, and if you can see from here, you're just going to paste the codes over right here as the slider. Okay, and that's it. You can just go ahead and preview the changes.
So you can see that very nice, you know, my slider is up full width and I have my, uh, you know, three navigations right here. If I move, you know, my slider will change to my coffee. Third one, I didn't do any changes, so it still remains as my default um, picture as well. But this is exactly how you can actually just very fast, very quick add a slider to, you know, any page that you want um, from there, yeah? So, um, like I mentioned, if those of you is actually using a classic editor, this is how you're going to edit as well. Well, okay, now if you're using a classic editor, pretty much you'll be looking at these kind of lay layouts of like having this visual tab and also a text tab. So what you can do is that you can actually switch over to the text tab, okay, and um, you know, like let's say you're going to edit over right here, right? I'm just going to add some spacings down this paragraph over right here, and I'm going to paste my short quotes right here, and make sure, make sure, make sure that you are posting it um under the text tab, okay, under the text tabs, yeah. So let me just do a uh, refresh preview and we're going to see that's it very fast very quick you, know, you can just add the slider to any page that you want be it is a home page you know it's a, a specific page or a post um, you know you just need to um, add in a new plugin and the plugin that I would like to recommend to you is called Smart Slider 3. And like I mentioned, there's actually a paid version and a you know, free version. And go ahead, um, if for those of you that think that this is worth the investment, you can just go ahead and make a one-time uh, purchase. And you can actually have the license key to actually you know, um, just uh, publish the slider to any websites that you, you have and you own. And yeah, so you can just leave a comment below and let me know whether or not you know you you, you like this uh, slider. And yeah, so um, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. How is like and share? If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.